Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Edge Trapper viewers. In this video, I have a quick little informative video for you guys. So if you didn't already know, iOS 9 is now out and you can go ahead and check for an update in your settings and then go to general and then software update. And after you get that, uh, there's a really cool new feature in uh, iOS 9 that allows you to block ads and stuff like that on your Safari. So uh, in the App Store, uh, if you go to the top charts, you will see, oh, here's Crystal. This is what this video is about. However, you will see just a flood, peace, uh, purify blocker. There's just tons of new ad blockers that are um, popping up all over the place. Uh, but the best one, well, the first one that I've used, Crystal, is free. That's why I'm saying it's the best. Um, because it's currently free for early adopters and I've heard a ton about it and I've heard that it works really well and I've been using it and it does work really well. Uh, so it's called Crystal and here it is, this is all it is. It just says, open settings app, tap Safari, content blockers, enable Crystal. Simple as that. So all you have to do is go into settings, find Safari, scroll down, click content blockers and enable Crystal. Now I'm not gonna enable it right now. What I'm going to do is first I'm going to go into Safari and I'm going to load up MacRumors.com. So here we are, MacRumors.com. Let's reload it. And this is just the site normally how you would see it. It's got an ad at the top, scroll down, it's got a huge ad here. And it does take a little bit of time to load up all those ads and it burns through some of your data. Go back in here, turn on Crystal, go back into Safari reload the page check this out no ads it loaded I don't know if you noticed that but it loaded so much quicker I've already done this test um, it's so much faster without ads loading and it will save you data on your plan so uh, if I were you I would go check out crystal it did say in here in the settings content blockers affect what content is loaded while using Safari they cannot send any information about what was blocked back to the app so that is good I was worried about tracking stuff but that seems to clear that up and make it sound like they don't send any of this back to the app so if any privacy stuff comes up i'm sure i'll tweet about it so follow us at itouch app review on twitter um, but for now this seems to be the best content blocker as of now because it is free for early adopters so go check it out link in the description and i will see you guys in the next one don't forget to subscribe and like this video peace